Well, training is a big part of a firefighter's job. Last week, we showed you some special operations response team training. Now to see what it really takes, we're taking our cameras into the middle of it all. News Channel 15's Alyssa Ivinson has the story. High angle rope rescue is calculated and complicated. To bring you an exclusive look inside the training from start to finish, I went in the basket as the patient, and we saw firsthand why safety is always at the forefront. Blue. The Special Operations Response Team, or SORT, is ready to respond to difficult rescues. Yeah. Like trench cave-ins, structural collapses, or from towers or grain bins. I did a carabiner with a clove hitch and tightened up tight. 36 members, 12 per fire department shift. A little slack on the system. They train every Wednesday. It's important because it keeps us sharp and keeps us utilizing all those rope skills that we've trained to, to get. Our cameras joined the C shift for high angle rescue training. It started with a briefing to review previous trainings and how to improve. We move the tripod closer and we put it about two foot. For this exercise, the objective was to lower a patient in a basket from the top of the Rousseau Center to the roof of the parking garage. After hauling up all the equipment... We're running all the uh, main and belay lines off of this giant leg. The setup begins. Those are absolutely the two pillars that we've been using. It's methodical and precise, making sure every rope, pulley, and knot is in place and secure. The track rope that carries the basket runs from an anchor through a pulley at the top of a tripod and down to the parking garage. Safety backups for each rope. So if something happens to the red, the yellow's still holding the load. If something happens to the yellow, the red's still holding the load. Once the tension in the track was tested, it was time to load me in the basket. We're getting ready to put her over the edge. The ride down was smooth. From my viewpoint, I couldn't really tell how high we were, but a sky cam shows us gliding through the air. Blue is lowering. And the white is just a backup for that. So okay. we're done as we have to once at the bottom, the crew pulled us back up. The rope stretches, and when we were back at the building, we were too low to clear the edge. Let's try to pull a little tension on the track line and raise them up. Then out of nowhere... All stop, stop. The tripod toppled. This white line right here was what failed. That was to keep the tripod from tipping over. That rope didn't work the way it was supposed to, and the tripod tipped. So we lost the high point. So they dropped down and rested on the edge. The drop only a few feet. The ropes never compromised. They just weren't high through the tripod anymore. The system stayed intact, and we were once again lowered to the garage. All of the backups were in place. Nobody got dropped. She got lowered a little bit, right? A couple, two, three feet. But she's safely down on the ground right now. We don't like contingencies to happen during the training sessions. There's nothing more valuable than that. As we saw in training or at a scene, the unexpected can happen. That's the nature of the job. That's also why firefighters always have extra precautions in place, because it's not just about the rescue. It's about the safety of everyone involved. Alyssa Ivinson, News Channel 15.